It's time to dig up my Xperia graveyard. Make sure to take your shoes off. You're now entering the of Tekken Man Xperia Sacred Burial Grounds. <clears throat> I mean, these phones are still pretty much alive, they just have their screens shattered, and I'll be damned if I spend a dime to fix them. And the last heir to the piece of shit throne is the Xperia Z3. This one broke without even me dropping it, it cracked in my pocket, just like that. Enough with that, let's get to the point. This phone has a lot of data that I want, but I'm locked out of it because typically when you connect a phone to your computer when it's locked, it doesn't give access. But all hope is not lost, there is a way. You're going to need the USB on the go cable, or OTG for short. This cable has micro USB on one end and the female USB port on the other. Using an OTG cable will make your phone act as a host or a hub for USB devices. Which takes me to my next point. You're also going to need a USB computer mouse, which will be connected to the phone via the OTG cable. An OTG cable costs around $5 on Amazon, it has many other uses like connecting gamepads or USB storage devices like an external hard drives, among other things. Before we go on, you should ensure that your phone supports OTG. If you have an Android device, you can use an app called USB OTG Checker. There's a link for downloading it in the description. It's very simple, and it'll tell you if your phone supports OTG or not. If it does, you can proceed with this video. If not, sadly, you won't be able to use this method. And in the case of an iOS device, I'm not entirely sure if it does support OTG or not, because they have separate cables, but I suggest looking more into it. This step is not mandatory, but it's a preventive procedure so you don't end up with a cable that you won't use. Once that is done, simply connect your OTG cable with your phone, and then connect the mouse to the OTG cable. I'm using the Cooler Master Master Keys Lite mouse, which we'll be talking about fully in next week's video, so stay tuned for that. Once it's connected, you'll notice a cursor appearing on your screen. You can go ahead and unlock your phone, and from there make sure to go to your settings menu and disable your lock to prevent your phone from locking again while you're restoring your data. You also need to set the default USB mode to media storage, since by default it's charge only. And all you have to do next is connect your phone to your computer and you should be able to access all your files now. This was Abed from Of Tekken Man and I'll see you in the next video.